Hello everyone, I wanted to do a walk around of some of the wildflowers that I have grown on my property and a look at how these sun chokes are doing. As you can see here, they're all pretty much fully flowered. They've been this way for about, well they keep getting bigger obviously, but they started breaking flowers just about two weeks ago. Um, and really if you think about it, there's probably, for one person, probably about a winter's full Winter's worth of food underneath. And you can see some of these, there's three different types here, so they're gonna kind of react differently. Um, this one obviously is starting to put all of its energy from the leaves and the stalks into the ground. And what I'll do is, once it, we get our first frost date, which should happen in about three weeks, give or take, and I'll just grab them and just pull them out, and then I can root around in there for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the tubers, although well, you can see how big these flowers get, they're part of the sunflower family. But yeah, the, the tubers in the ground are what is actually edible. And they'll stay just like potatoes under the ground. Uh, they react, react and taste and you cook them pretty similarly to potatoes. You can see how my asparagus are coming. we got the monster one that's reaching all the way through. They pretty much dropped all their seeds. I'll show you a couple of spots too where wildflowers have really just taken off. And they're in random patches throughout my property, which is pretty awesome. The goldenrod and one of those whatever those white flowers are. They took forever to bloom, it seemed like. But now they're Perfect timing, of course, for them. The little moths and bees and ants all over everything. So if I was mowing all this, they would not have all this food for themselves. Yeah, it's just amazing seeing, seeing all the life that's still around on this property because these, these flowers, three different types at least. This is a pretty, pretty cool spot here too. Heading back toward the house, we have these flowers, and then um, here we have a couple of plums and a couple of peaches. Here's one of the plums, planted about three weeks ago, and a peach behind it. Now on the other side of this little biomass compost, there's another peach. And of course we have the this amazing area where violets have pretty much just taken over. You can see how tall they are. This is where most of the maple trees have grown up on their own, volunteered. Try and give you a good angle to see how tall they all are. Yep, they've grown up quite a lot this one year. This is their second year of being left alone. Um, there's one right there that I've really hesitated to mow down, but. Um, that brings us over to another type of strawberry. And I've, this is the type that I've planted here and then elsewhere. But you can see how they've leapt. They've leapt across. And this one leapt once and then re sprouted and leapt again. So that's really great to see and it's still trying to put on the strawberry still have some tomatoes that are ripening um, I lose probably every other tomato it seems like there's some rabbit or something that comes by and eats it or a squirrel and then all these cherry tomatoes we had a couple of days where it was raining and cold so some of these actually died and I just just ripped them off but there's a chance that some of these will ripen and the smart thing to do would be to like trim them trim them back um, to try and focus as much of the energy down into you know a greater amount but I'm just more curious to see how this whole thing turns out my zucchini are still trying to put on flowers and fruit oh, you can see another one straight down probably another 
Yeah, I'm gonna be in the, you can see another one there, two of them. Well, yeah, we'll see how long the warm weather holds out. Might still get another handful of zucchini here. And here's another batch of that walking onion. They haven't put on heads yet. So we're kind of waiting for that. Um, but that's turned out for, turned out really well. Um, and everything's kind of just still pushing forward. You can see the sun chokes in the back. Everything's still growing. We'll just see how long this warm weather can last. Um, but there's plenty of wildflowers and whatnot for, for different pollinators and bees and whatnot to eat. So things are doing well so far, especially for being get toward the end of September. So I just wanted to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.